welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make part three of the project we've been working on the past couple of weeks. Now, in this part, we add a couple of cool things, just like this night and day effect you see. And the longer you stay in the game, the darker it gets. And then once it gets maximum darkness, it'll get it'll turn lighter and lighter. And basically, when it gets too dark, the car will get out its headlights, and anything in the headlights' path will turn white. Also, we added the score and high score variables up there, and the high score variable is a clad variable, which means that it remembers the best score from game to game. So let's get started. First, we have to fix something, and that something is that when we uh, add um, another clone, it goes to the front layer, and you can see here this tree is on top of this road sign. And we don't want that because the tree is supposed to be behind that road sign in this case. So to fix this, when one of these road blocks get created, we'll just set them to back layers so that they won't appear like this. So go when I start as a clone, go to back layer. Okay? And that shouldn't happen anymore now. Now let's add a day-night effect. So to do this, we have to change the brightness of something. And we're going to go ahead and change the brightness of the background, which is the green and the blue, you see? And basically, it'll make it darker, night, and lighter, I mean, brighter for um, morning. So let's go ahead and do this. One green flag clicked. We are going to use brightness effects. So at the beginning, we'll just set brightness effect to zero. And then what we undo is forever, let's say a repeat a um, hundred times, we will um, change brightness effect by one. I mean, minus one to make it dark. Okay, and then since it does it too fast, I'll just do it really fast. We'll add a small weight, like a 0 0.1 second weight. And what we're going to do is duplicate that, put it under, but this is going to be a 1, change brightness effect by 1. Alright, let's go ahead and test this. And we can see that the brightness, I, I can see it getting darker. And yeah, as you can see, it gets darker. And then it should get back brighter once it stops getting darker. There we go, you can see it brightening up. There we go. And it turns into morning, so that's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw a sprite. And basically this sprite is going to be the headlights of the car. It's basically going to be a yellow cone shaped thing. So we're going to go ahead and draw a line here. And then we're going to draw another line tied to that one the other way. And... Next, we're going to draw a line to connect them at the top, and then we're going to use the reshape icon, click on this triangle shape thing, and we're going to uh, make one of those circles on the top and drag it up. And then what we're going to do is make the outline zero, because we don't want any outline, but then the fill will be a yellow. So like, not too bright yellow, but not too dark either. Something like that should be good. But then we're all going to use this um, icon here. We're going to make this one not pink, but blank, nothing. So that it looks more like the headlights of a car. And here you can see on the screen how it looks. And I think that looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and rename this um, sprite. Not sprite 2. It's going to be named headlight. Alright. And we might as well go ahead and name everything else as well. So this is not going to be back of car 3. It's just going to be car. And then this can be city. And this can be road. Alright. So now that's done. Next what we're going to do is we want it to, when it's dark enough, we want the this headlight uh, sprite to come out. So how do we know when it's dark enough? We can't do something like if the brightness of stage, which is our backdrop, if the brightness of our backdrop 
is, uh, I don't know, negative 50 or something, we can't do that in another spray. So what we need to do is we're going to create a variable that I'm going to name brightness. Okay, for all sprites. And basically what we want to do is at the beginning we will set brightness to zero. And then here when we change brightness effect by negative one, that makes it darker. So we want to change our brightness variable by minus one as well. And then here, same thing except change brightness by one since it's changing brightness effect by one. Okay, and now what we want to do is we want to tell the headlight when green flag clicked forever um, if uh, if our variable brightness is let's say smaller than um, uh, negative uh, 60 60 so if it's less than negative 60 then we're going to um, hide it Actually, no, we're going to show it. So if brightness is less than negative 60, we're going to show it. Otherwise, we're going to hide it. So it's going to be an if else. So show else hide. All right, and let's go ahead and test this. So let's get it dark enough for it to come out. And there we see the um, headlight sprite but it's appearing all the way up there so what we need to do is we want it to um, always go to the car because that's where we want it to appear not in the random position where it was so we're gonna go ahead and forever before we ask ourselves the if we're gonna go to car let's test it now again and see if it works now Oh, dang it, I crashed. Okay, but there you go. You see that it comes out uh, when it's dark enough. But there's a problem. It's on top of the car. So let's go ahead and send it to back layer because it's not supposed to be on top of the car. Or actually, even better, we'll just bring the car to the front layer. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we go. Go to front layer. Alright, and that should be good. The car should be on top of the um, headlight now. See? Yeah, so that's good. Next, what we want to do is we want anything in the path of the headlight to turn like a white, a shade of white. To make it look like the light is on top of that obstacle or whatever that we're passing by. So it's basically going to be anything that's on the road sprite. The trees, the road signs, the obstacle, or just the road itself will turn that shade of white. So what we want to do is if touching our sprite named headlight, then we want to set brightness effect to not 100 because that's just white. So we'll just think like 80. And then else set brightness effect to zero. And let's go ahead and put it in the code right here. All right, so let's go ahead and start this. And here we go. Let's get out. Let's um wait for the headlights to come out. There we go. Anything in its path turns white. You can see that. So that is good next what we're going to do is add some code and we want to do this because before when we crashed the car would ask itself is if it touching this color or this color this color would be the traffic signs this color would be the edge of the road so now we might be able to crash in them when they are white from the headlights so we want to add the two shades of white to the to these ores so what we're going to do is we are going to get a touching color, start the program, and what we want to do is we want 
um, the car to get out. It's headlights. All right, make it nice and bright. And then we can pick the color and that's gonna be one of our colors. Now the second color is gonna come from a um, white uh, traffic sign. Let me know the traffic sign, sorry, an obstacle. Obstacle, and there we go, there it is. So let's go ahead and get an ore. I'm gonna put that right there. All right, so that should be good. Let's go ahead and test it. Let's go ahead and see if it actually crashes on the side of the road when our headlights appear. So we'll start with the side of the road, like I said, and then we'll test the obstacles. So the side of the road works, that's good. And now let's test the obstacles. So let's wait for the headlights to come out. All right. And once we get our headlights out, we can crash into an obstacle. And there you go, it stops. So that works. Now let's go ahead and add a score variable. So let's go ahead and make a variable, call it score. And basically, we need to change score by one every time, let's say we pass an obstacle. And we only know if we have an obstacle, the only way to know that we passed an obstacle is to know that the these costumes are three or four because they're the only ones that have an obstacle on them. All the other uh, ones have other things on them and they don't count as obstacles. We want to know only when we passed an obstacle. So first of all, let's set score to zero. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and ask ourselves if our costume number is equal to three or four. Um, then, and two, and we'll do this here right before we delete the clone so that we can only do it so that we only do it once right as we pass the obstacle so right before it gets deleted all right then we will uh, change score by one all right let's get rid of all the other variables like let's hide them all and then we're going to go ahead and make a high score variable so let's go ahead and do that we will make a variable it'll be a cloud variable it'll be called high score All right, and basically what we're going to be doing is here when we when it's game over, we're going to ask ourselves if oops, if high score is greater than I mean if it's smaller than so if uh, if score is greater than so if score is greater than high score then we have to set high score to score. All right, there we go. And what we want to do, we can make them both large readouts. Let's remember which one's which. So this is high score. I'll go ahead and position in that corner and we'll go ahead and position this one about here because we're going to go ahead and do something and we're gonna write on the backdrop here score and here high score so that we know which one's which one. So let's go to the backdrop and click on this, which is the text. And I, I'm gonna use this pixel font, but you can use whatever you want. I just thought it looked cool. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and write score. And let's go ahead and make it like a black. It'd be cool if it was black. And that should be good. We'll move this here. And then let's also go ahead and add another Uh, text box over here and write high score. All right, but we gotta move it. And I think that that should be perfect just about there. All right, let's go ahead and test it. 
So let's pass an obstacle. And our score went up by one. We're gonna pass another one. It went up by one. Now it's at two. And here he passed three more. Now it's at five. All right. So now let's crash. And our high score is now what our score was. All right. So now let's try to get a higher score so that we can beat our high score. There we go. We got a higher one. Let's crash. And now our high score gets set to what the score was. All right. So that's good. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you next time in part 4 of this project where we will add a starting menu where there's like a locker where you can pick your car and even a second level. So I'll see you then.